everybody, we're back here with Jeffrey Wright. You're narrating a new four-part docu-series called Lincoln's Dilemma. Yes. What is Lincoln's Dilemma? Uh, well, uh, it, it's a, it's a, a series that uh, will be available February 18th on, uh, on Apple TV+. And it examines Lincoln's presidency over four parts and the evolution of his presidency. The dilemma for Lincoln, I think, I think Lincoln on all sides was between uh, a rock and a hard place. There were dilemmas everywhere. Um, but, you know, I'm just like anyone else. I, you know, I'm not a presidential historian. I know a, a reasonable amount about our history, but they're, they're, our history is so vast. And there are things in this series that I wasn't aware of. There was an incident that I think is particularly indicative of the challenges that Lincoln faced, or it's indicative of the times in which uh, he presided over this country. Uh, in 1850, 10 years before uh, Lincoln was elected, the Fugitive Slave Act is passed, which basically says that, hey, Southern, you, uh, you uh, slave owner, if you have uh, some of the human beings that you own, if they happen to run away to freedom, you have the right not only to go retrieve them, but you can do it with the assistance of the United States government. And there's an incident in uh, 1851 in a town called Christiana, Pennsylvania, about 20 miles north of the Mason-Dixon line. Four men uh, escaped a farm in Maryland, and they found safe haven there in a home that was owned by a couple called the Parkers, uh, William and Eliza Parker, who themselves were runaway slaves who were now free people. And they lived in a community there, um, whites and blacks together, some Quaker community, black uh, free, uh, free people, and it seems uh, relatively harmonious, uh, seemed uh, 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 actually a long way from, you know, the brutality that they had escaped. Well, these four men found safe haven in the home of the Parkers, and their owner, or former owner, a man named Edward Gorsuch, came up from Maryland, uh, as it's told, early one morning. He had a warrant. He had a group of men, including one of his sons and a U.S. Marshal, and he came to retrieve uh, these men, essentially to kidnap them. <clears throat> and uh, a conversation ensued uh, in the mist uh, at dawn as he arrived at this house, and an exchange uh, took place between the two groups, and he was essentially told, uh, well, you can come get us, uh, but if you do, you, you, you might be getting some of these bullets, too. Uh, they were going to fight for their freedom. And uh, uh, out of these tensions, uh, shots were fired uh, from uh, the side of uh, Gorsuch and his men. They were returned. Uh, fire, fire was returned from the house. Gorsuch was killed. His son was wounded. Those men dispersed. Uh, the men who had escaped fled. Some of them uh, uh, made their way to Canada uh, to further freedom. It was a huge trial afterward. 41 people were tried for treason against the U.S. government. For treason. Uh, the first case, uh, the jury acquitted uh, of this man, a white man, in 15 minutes, and the rest of the charges were dismissed. But the interesting detail for me... <coughs> uh, that uh, is indicative of how dense and complicated the issues of the, the, the day were, uh, was that there was a man named Noah Bewley, who was one of the runaways. He was described as a mulatto. He was said to have fired the first shot in return from the house. He was also reported to be Edward Gorsuch's son, a son that he had fathered by a woman that he enslaved. And it, 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 it you know, there are a lot of tensions among families, you know, uh, nowadays, political tensions, but, you know, can, can, you, can you imagine Thanksgiving at the, at the Gorsuch's? <laughs> uh, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty tense, although uh, he probably, Noah Buley probably wasn't invited to the table. But, 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 for, but for me, I didn't know of this story. Uh, and it was so... Um, telling about the, how complicated our history is, 
how intertwined we are. You know, we're having conversations now about race and you have people who don't really seem to be qualified to have these conversations, but they have large microphones, but they certainly don't seem to be aware of details like that that exist throughout our history. Because on that day, uh, Edward Gorsuch was white and his son was clearly black. So uh, we're asking questions now in public that about race uh, that have been answered many, many decades ago in our history. But if we go back and read that history, revisit that history, the lessons that, uh, that Lincoln left us, the lessons that people like Frederick Douglass left us, who was a big influence on Lincoln, if we revisit those men's journeys, then a lot of our questions might be answered. Because, yeah, we're divided now, but uh, it's not, a bad, not as bad as it was back in the mid-19th century. We have it pretty good compared to what was going on back then. And they got through it. And if we follow, uh, perhaps if we follow their lead, we'll get through uh, these difficult days, these challenging days that we're facing now. Well, hopefully with fewer bullets. Fewer bullets. Fewer bullets. Jeffrey, right. thank you so much for cool. being here. Thanks for having me. Lincoln's Dilemma premieres on Apple TV Plus this Friday. Jeffrey Wright, everybody. We'll be right back with the marvelous Mrs. Maisel's Alex Borstein.